Hey guys, so I'm starting out with MAC Fix Plus and just prepping my skin with a bit of that. Then for primer, I'm using the Tarte Brightening Primer, the Clean Slate one. So I'm just evenly spreading that all over my clean skin. Then I'm going in with the Benefit Professional Primer. I'm just using this on the areas where my pores and like my skin has more texture. So around my nose, on my cheeks, on my chin and those areas there. Then for foundation, I'm mixing the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation with a little bit of the Astralis Strobing Drops in the shade Gold. And this just gives the foundation such a luminous and beautiful finish. I absolutely love it. So I'm just using my Beauty Blender to blend that into my skin. And then I'm just going in with a little precision brush and just blending the foundation around my eyebrows, seeing as I had already done them and I didn't want to ruin them. Then to cream contour, I'm taking the Benefit uh, Hula Quickie Contour Stick. So I'm just outlining underneath my cheekbones, all around my temples and my hairline and a little bit down my nose and under my lip and funny story I actually forget to blend under my lips so pretty much the whole entire video I have a little brown mark under my bottom lip but luckily you can't really see it but now I've told you guys and you're gonna look at it anyway moving on to the eyes I'm priming using the Benefit Air Patrol primer so I'm just applying that and then blending them out with a large fluff brush from Sigma then I'm just going in with some tape along the corners of my eyes to give me a nice crisp line. And then taking the Kali Bible palette and I'm using the skin tone shade and just setting the entire eyelid. Then I'm going in with this matte shade from the palette. This is pretty much the closest thing I could get to a transition shade. It is kind of a purpley color but that's fine. I'm just blending that in using an E40 brush. Then I'm taking the shade next to it. None of these have names, so you guys will just have to go by the palette and when I dip into it. But this one's a little bit more of a mauve shade and I'm just doing the exact same thing. Then going into the next darker shade. Um, this one is very much like a plummy eggplant color and I'm blending it into the outer corner a little bit more and bringing it down along sort of where the tape is and then blending it into the crease and just building up the color intensity. Then I'm taking this matte brown shade on my little cut crease brush and I'm starting to basically carve out the crease. I did it really messily this time and I was so annoyed but I just literally blended and blended until my fingers were sore to make it look better. So make sure you have clean blending brushes on hand but yeah this eye was a little bit better I just made it a little bit too messy and I wasn't 100% happy with it but I fixed it up in the end then I'm just taking the matte shade again that I used to set the entire lid and I'm just going along my brow bone just to make sure those shades aren't too blended up towards the brow and here I'm just building up that brown intensity a little bit more because I blended quite a bit of it away. But we are blending again because we just don't want any harsh lines. Then I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in Light Ivory I believe but it will be listed down below. So I'm just applying a little bit of that to the lid and then using my finger to pat it on and blend it out sort of like a cut crease but it's very subtle so I yeah didn't go too overboard with the carving obviously then I'm dipping into this beautiful gold shade from the palette and I'm just using my finger to apply it um, I feel like you get the best payoff with these shades with the finger when you you know use a shimmery shade I don't even know what I'm trying to say I'm sorry guys anyway once I finished that, I just went back in with the cut crease brush with no additional product and just blended out that edge very, very slightly. Then I'm going in with a liquid liner. This one is the Models Prefer and Samantha Jade liquid liner. It is just a felt tip 
liquid liner. Just use whatever liner you've got. So I'm just creating a pretty dramatic wing and the tape as always makes it very easy to create. Then going in with my Rimmel Scandalized Coal Pencil in black, I'm just tight lining my eyes and then just giving my eyelashes a curl and applying some Lights Camera Lashes Mascara from Tarte. And then the falsies I used are these Clep Key Lashes in Saint Tropez. Then I accidentally cut out the clips of me applying my concealer, but you guys have seen it a million times, so I just used the LA Girl Pro Concealer and applied it underneath my eyes and down the center of my face. And then I set it all with the Benefit Tello Flawless Powder. Now I am bronzing and contouring with the Pure Cosmetics Glow Together Bronzer. So I'm using the matte shades first and just applying that underneath my cheekbones and then around my hairline under my chin and on my nose. And then here I just dipped into the shimmery shades and I very lightly dusted that over the top. Then for blush, I'm using the Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. I love this blush. I forgot how much I loved it until I used it again. So I'm applying it to the apples of the cheeks and blending it back. And then to highlight, I'm using these two shades, the lighter shades from the Kali Bible palette. And I'm just packing those onto my cheekbones and my cupid's bow, my nose, my chin, above the arches of my brows, just everywhere and I love the way this highlight looks. And then to finish off the skin, I just sprayed another spritz of MAC Fix Plus. Then to finish up the eyes, I'm taking a mixture of the brownish and the mauve shades and I am buffing those underneath my lower lash line. And I am doing this quite messily as you can see. I wanted it to be pretty smoky. And then I'm mixing the eggplanty purple shade with the brown and using an E30 pencil brush to smudge this along the lower lash line quite close to the eyelashes. And then I'm going in with the E41 brush from Sigma which is like a little mini duo fiber brush and I'm just making sure that the edges are super blended. Then I am going into the gold once again that I used on the lid and just bringing that underneath the lower lash line on the inner portion of the eye. And then taking a mixture of the two shades I used on my cheekbones, I am highlighting the inner corner of the eyes. Then I just lined my lower waterline with the same black pencil and I just gave my lower lashes a coat of mascara as well to finish up the eyes. And then finally for lips, I am lining them using the Aquarius Lippy Pencil from Colourpop. I love this lip liner so much. I did infill my lips a little bit as well. And then for the lipstick, I'm using the Tarte Colour Splash Lipstick in the shade Pink Lemonade, which is absolutely gorgeous and I feel like it went perfectly with this look. And that completed the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the dark backdrop. Let me know if you like it or not. I kind of dig in it. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.